Welcome back to Naples Grand Tour, Ramici. Today we can explore the Duomo of Napoli. But let's start with a sfogliatella first. The tall frontage of the cathedral is the result of a restoration neo-gothic style of the late 19th century. This stunning building was placed on top of a pagan temple of the god Apollo and a older early Christian church. We are in the main church of Naples, the Duomo, the cathedral of my city. Built in the late 13th century in the Anjou time, the church is dedicated to the Assumption of the Virgin Mary, but in the local culture it's called the Church of San Gennaro, the patron saint of Naples. The main nave it's 100 meters long and 35 meters high. The baroque coffered ceiling is painted with gospel stories. This is the cathedral where happens the miracle of San Gennaro. A lot of important artists worked here. Vasari, Perugino, Luca Giordano, Solimena and many, many others. But have a look where we are going now. And now I want to show you a, a very special place. We are underneath the main altar of the church, in the crypt. In this beautiful corner of Renaissance style, we can find still the rest of our patron saint, San Gennaro. San Gennaro was a bishop and he was killed by the Romans in the early 4th century AD. Then the body was buried in a place that now we call the catacombs of San Gennaro, but for centuries the body was stolen and then came back to Naples in the late 15th century thanks to the family Carafa in the person of Oliviero Carafa that we can see here praying San Gennaro forever. Inside the Sucorpo, or well the crypt, there are three naves with marble columns and a coffered marble ceiling, representing reliefs of Neapolitan saints, four evangelists, the Virgin Mary with Jesus, and some doctors of the church. On the main altar we have uh, the Assumption of the Virgin Mary made by Pietro Bracci, the same artist who made some sculptures for the Trevi Fountain in Rome. In the Cathedral of Naples we have one chapel that still maintains the original decoration of the 13th century. The family, noble family, Capice Minutolo, are still the owner of this place and was the plot of one of the novel of Boccaccio. Enjoy. We are at the entrance of the treasure chapel of San Gennaro. It was built in the 17th century with the money of the city of Naples. It's one of the best examples of the Neapolitan Baroque. Important artists worked together here. We have Fanzago, Domenichino, or the beautiful dome made by Lanfranco. While on the main altar, we have the head of the saint still preserved and behind the altar, the holiest relic of the city the blood of San Gennaro that for three times every year can turn from solid to liquid blood. Here you are the famous miracle or prodigio di San Gennaro. Everything in this chapel 
every statue, every piece of marble belong to the city of Naples. It's the only example of a lay chapel in a Christian Catholic church. The treasure of San Gennaro is considered the biggest treasure in the world, bigger than UK crown and the Tsar of Russia. Don't stop the video now, because our journey is not finished. Near the beautiful uh, work of Roxy in the box, a Neapolitan artist, where we can see San Gennaro and Caravaggio playing together at a ball called Super Santos, Super Saint, we are also near one of the most important monuments of the city. The monument of San Gennaro with the statues of the Patron Saint is up there. This beautiful monument is uh, placed instead of the tradition saint, a bronze horse made by the Virgil, the poet of the Roman time. At the basement of the Guglia, the spy, we can see the Sarvini, Bartenope, with the crown. We are ready to discover now one of the hidden gems of Naples. Come with me. We are in the Piemonte della Misericordia, a lay institution, but a Catholic church, filled with money of a group of noble men of Naples in the 17th century. On the seven altars, we have the different works of mercy made by important artists like Caracciolo, Santa Fede, but on the main altar, the treasure of the master Caravaggio, where all together are represented the seven works of mercy. This painting never left this place since it was made by Caravaggio. Come closer. It's one of the most beautiful things that you can see in the city of Naples. This is the octopus.